Hi everyone, welcome to Danda's dashboard how to videos. This video is on how to add a target strip line to a chart. This video will demonstrate how to successfully add a strip line to a line chart during the design time and run time. The purpose of a strip line is to give a visualization to the targeted value to give some context regarding the performance of the data. In this video, we will add the red line during the design time and the green line during the run time. Now, let's get started. First, let's add a strip line during the design time by changing and adding properties of the line chart. Note, we can add a horizontal and a vertical strip line. In our scenario, we're going to add a horizontal strip line. To do so, we do want to go to the properties of the line chart, more specifically y-axis, it would be x-axis for the vertical strip line, and here we would want to go to the scale, and then strip lines. Since we're adding a new one, let's click add button. The strip line has various properties but we will just change a few for the illustration purposes. Let's do the following. Let's change the start value to 80. Let's change the strip width to 1. And let's change the fill color to red. Let's close these windows and preview the dashboard to see our strip line. Now, let's imagine we have a scenario where the values is dynamic and we will want to add a strip line on the runtime. Then we will need to write a script that does just that. In our scenario, we want to add this additional line as soon as the dashboard loads. So let's add our script to the dashboard's load interaction. To do so, close the preview, select dashboard under properties, and under the interactions, there will be one called load interactions. Let's add a new one. Here, we will be able to write our desired script. Since we're trying to add a strip line, we first need to declare the object with all its properties. If you're not sure how to get these properties, a good way to start is by looking under the type explorer as well as looking through the properties if you're going to change things during the design time. The following is the script that adds another horizontal strip line. We first declare the strip line give it a name, let's call it our line Give the line a start value, note the 120 here is a constant but can be replaced with a calculated value such as the average value of the data, max of the data, etc. Let's set the width to 1. And set the fill color to green. We just declared our new strip line and now we need to add it to our chart. This can be done by line chart one dot y axis dot scales dot strip lines dot add. Click build and apply to ensure everything is as expected. If no error messages appear, we can preview this. 
And there we have it, our two strip lines on our chart. One made during the design time and another during the run time. For more information on what we discussed in this video can be found on our support site, support.dundas.com. Some key articles are shown on the screen now. Please feel free to visit them and read up on the information. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please visit our support site at support.dundas.com or contact us by email or by phone, which are shown on the screen. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for upcoming videos.